can't things just do what they are supposed to? Maybe if I use this and go about it from this angle. Yes, that's it. Almost there. Blast! <sighs> what? Yes, of course it's you, Higgins. Who else bothers me when I'm working in the lab? Daniels does. Who in the hell is Daniels? <sighs> what are you on about? You know what, Higgins? I really don't care. I really don't have time for this and I'm sure you have better things to do than to continue pestering me. <sighs> what do you want, Higgins? You are trying my patience. What? Oh, for goodness sake, why didn't you say so? I told you to inform me the moment the hero stirred. Never mind, I'm on my way. I really don't know why I keep him around. So, Higgins was right about something for once. You are finally awake. Sort of. Well, you've been in a coma for a week, so you'll undoubtedly be groggy for a while yet. Mind if I take a seat? I suppose you don't really know what you're doing here, do you? If you even know where here is in the first place. But not to worry, my dear. I will fill you in. Ah, 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 ah. Hero, you shouldn't be trying to move. After all, you hurt yourself quite badly during the last encounter. And before we go any further, don't attempt to speak either. You'll find it quite unpleasant to try while that tracheotomy is in place. Gosh, that monitor is quite annoying, isn't it? Let's silence that. Much better. Now, where were we? Oh yes, you took quite a beating, Hero. You would have died if not for my actions and the facilities of my fortress. You've actually been with us for a week now. You look confused, Hero. As if you don't believe what I'm saying. I assure you. I have never lied to you. Or is it not that you think I'm lying, but rather you can't comprehend the reality of your situation? Perhaps knowing the extent of your injuries will help you with that? Where do we begin? Well, the bones in your left leg were shattered. It took the surgeons hours to reconstruct them. Several large pieces of strap wool tore your abdomen apart. Oh god, you lost a lot of blood. What else? Ah yes, you also managed to break your sternum quite badly. We had to perform a tracheotomy so you could breathe. But don't worry, it's not permanent. Yes, I'm afraid that weak long coma was merely the beginning of a long recovery for you, Hero. Hero, is that fear 
I see in your eyes. I see. Well, I... Um... You are going to be okay, my dear. You are in the very best of hands. My facilities are state-of-the-art. I've employed the world's top medical talents to stuff it. If you were anywhere else, you probably would have lost a leg, a spleen, and maybe a kidney. If not, your life, of course. I, uh, what I'm saying is, you are safe here, and we are confident you'll make a full recovery. All of our resources are at your disposal. You shall have whatever you need, however long it takes, alright? Uh, you are not really able to respond, uh, are you? That won't really do. Hmm. Can you blink? Excellent. How about until you are able to write or type or whatever? One blink means no and two blinks means yes. If you agree, blink twice. Wonderful. We are making progress already. So, uh, do you uh, have any questions? You have my undivided attention, hero. Ask away. Why are you rolling your eyes? Uh, <laughs> I was joking, of course. <laughs> you look like you needed cheering up. As if I could be so stupid. <laughs> Who am I, Higgins? <laughs> Anyway, hero, back to business. Are you in pain? No. Truly, with all those injuries, I'm not sure I can believe that. I hope you're not putting on a false front to save face or some nonsense. I'll ask you one more time. Are you in pain? Thank you for being truthful. Now, are you in a lot of pain? I thought so. Let's do something about that. Hmm. Oh, what the? Why are you blinking so much? Are you trying to tell me you don't want something? Okay, but why? In your line of work, you should know full well that pain slows the body ability to heal itself. Stoicism comes at the expense of recovery, you know. Look, hero, you may have only just woken up, but a coma isn't genuine rest. Are you afraid to go back to sleep? I can see to that, someone to stay with you at all times. No, then I don't understand what's the problem. Wait, wait a moment. Those rumors going around a few years ago, was it them? No, seriously not. They are so revered and lauded as a, a pillar of society. Hero, be honest with me. Have you had issues with painkillers before? Oh my dear, I understand. We all have demons we can't escape from. No matter how hard we try. Perhaps 
You and I are not so different after all. Please, allow me to dry your tears. Let's not add to your discomfort. There we are. Now, my dear, I shall not force something on you that your heart is set against. However, I meant what I said about this place being a state of the art. Not just by of the facilities and staff, but also the resources we have at our disposal. That includes analgesia, specifically designed to be effective and non-addictive. If I promised you that you would only be given this, which you cannot develop a dependency for, would you accept it for the sake of your own recovery? Take your time to think on this, hero, I'll wait. But consider this, while I may be and may do many things, I do not lie. I know you know this. Two blinks, does that mean you have an answer? Will you accept this analgesia along with my promise? Good. I will do that now. You've been awake and suffering for far too long. Don't look at me like that, hero. I made you a promise. The only way to make certain is to be myself. <laughs> One of my doctorates is in medicine, you know. I'm not an amateur. There we are, my dear. You should drift off shortly. It takes effect quite quickly. Hey, don't resist. Just close your eyes and try to relax. You are safe, hero. Let yourself rest. Let yourself heal. That's it. Let sleep take you. I shall see you when you awaken. <laughs>